Good day everyone, I am Jessamy R. Dumao and today I will discuss about representations of relations and functions. And our learning objectives is to define relation and function, illustrate a relation and a function, determine if a given relation is a function using ordered pairs, graph, and equation, differentiate dependent and independent variables, and describe the domain and range of a function. So, as a brief introduction, a relation is that any set of ordered pairs, the set of all first coordinates is called the domain of the relation, and the set of all second coordinates is called the range of the relation. So, the first representation of relations. Aside from ordered pairs, a relation may be represented in, form, in four other ways. First, the table, the second, mapping diagram, then graph, and rule. The first one is table. The table describes clearly the behavior of the value of y as the value of x changes. Tables can be generated based on the graph below is an example of a table of values presented horizontally. At the right is also table of values that is presented vertically. Next, the mapping diagram. Subsequently, a relation can be described by using a diagram as shown at the right. In this example, negative 2 is mapped to negative 4, negative 1, to negative 2, 0, to 0, 1, 3. So this is an example of a mapping diagram. The next one is graph 3. So this is an example of a graph. Domain and range. It is noted that the domain of a relation is a set of first coordinates while the range is the set of second coordinates. Going back to the graph, the domain of the relation is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And the range is negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, 4. Note that we write the same element in the domain or range once. A function is a special type of relation. It is a relation in which every element in the domain is mapped to exactly one element in the range. Furthermore, a set of ordered pairs is a function if no two ordered pairs have equal abscissas. Horizontal and vertical lines. The horizontal line represents a function. It can be described by the equation y is equal to c where c is any constant. It is called the constant function. However, a vertical line which can be described by the equation x is equal to c is not a function. A relation may also be represented by the equation in two variables or so called the rule. So as far as our summary, a relation is any set of ordered pairs. The set of all first coordinates is called the domain of the relation. And the last one, the set of all second coordinates is called the range of the relation.